Come here. Listen. Bring him out. Where is he? You have been traveling so much. Why? It's not true. It's true. It's true. Try to see the prophet to prophesy you. It's not true. It's true. And uh, even today, when you come here, your heart was denying to come. There was a demon that was trying to block you. Yes, I know. Huh? Yes, it's true because I was supposed to wait. But I don't feel good at the city. You could just speak something. Yes. Alright, listen to this. The prayer you prayed, when you, did you go to Nigeria? I, I was there in April. April? Yes. The prayer you prayed there is working for you now. <laughs> First, I want to thank God. I can see that he, this is a, a, a deliverance in my country to see the man of God coming in my country and he, his, his purpose is just to come and help us. I can see that our country is, is getting a deliverance and we are very, very much, much happy for this. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. He prayed for me, and uh, I really believe what I have. It's, a, it's, a, it's I believe that uh, it is over today. The prayer has done something on me. I feel there is was a shoulder, something to my shoulders. Now everything is released, and I think it's, I'm very, very, I'm very, very. Thank you for my Jesus. Mm. And did you also receive the anointing water of the spray after that? Um, I received a, a gift for the anointing water. <coughs> and uh, I think I'm going to use it. I know that it will bring a big change in my family and also a big change in my ministry and everywhere in my life. My name is Helga Richter and I'm from Sokobmund. And today you had the opportunity or the grace of meeting the man of God on one-on-one. -on -one. Can you tell us about your session with him? Yeah, it was really very a good session. He asked, he told me my name, my surname and where I'm from. And he told me about marital problems that I told you about. That I was being wish not to be married or be happy in marriage. And then nothing, I'm, I'm actually supposed to be somewhere in life but nothing is working for me. And then he mentioned about my son, also how many years he is, he is and the problem he's having. And then he prayed for me and he said it's over. I should just pray the anointing water at him when I come home. Actually I brought him down here. He's at home so as I reach home now in Ongotiva I'll spray and then I'll pray first and spray and then that's then he said it's over. All is done. Yeah, I'm from Namibia, Tumeb. I'm having a church there in Tumeb. I'm a pastor. My name is Pastor Stephen. So when I heard that prophet is coming to Namibia, I was so excited to meet the man of God. So when I met him one on one, the man of God told me something that I really desire to hear from God. And he prayed for me and he told me that all will be well, don't worry. And I believe and I have faith in God that all will be well and I'm delivered. And what are the challenges that brought you here today? The challenges is more especially my ministry. My ministry, I need breakthrough in my ministry. Yeah. And what is it that this one-on-one -on -one has taught you today? Today what he told me was basically about my ministry and about the attacks that I'm facing and uh, that I'm going to get a plot um, for the church. And what other words of encouragement would you like to give to others that are watching? I want to tell them that they must always, when they heard that the man of God is coming to them, it is our opportunity that God has granted unto us. So they must always make sure to come. They must not just sit and judge. They must come and experience the power of God.
Yeah, my name is Pastor Gabs. Yeah, they call me Gabriel Thomas. I'm from Namibia. Mm. Yeah, the challenges that I, I came across with is a uh, limitation in ministry. Yeah, I see that there is a blockage in my spiritual life. Yeah, I see visions that and those things are not happening. Yeah, it have affected me because I've been for a long time struggling in the ministry. Yeah, the ministry has been growing since I started in 2015. But uh, this year, at, at the beginning of this year, there I saw that the ministry is not growing as it was growing. Yeah. The experience today, it was very different because today I get an opportunity to sit with a man of God. Yeah, and uh, it, uh, by the grace of God, the man of God prophesied to me exactly what blew to me here. Yeah, the man of God said, you are called, but you have only one problem that is disturbing you. Yeah, you are a man who loves man of God, you love pastors, and it is true. I'm a man who always love pastors, praying for pastors. Many pastors come to a church, young pastors, elder one, but he said I must stop it because many pastors they are sent to come and attack me. That is, I discover that is is true, because out of this sometimes I used to see strange things start to happen even to the church. Yeah, many some people after I meet with these pastors, some people they started even leaving the church. Yeah, so I really thank God for the prophecy and the revelation that I received from the man of God. Uh, Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Um, very much excited and I know God has done it through the Apostle of God yeah, uh, yeah and uh, it is my first time even to fall down by the anointing yeah the, the I, I have been went I visited different man of God but uh, I never felt the power as I felt here yeah so I know that uh, God has done it and it, it is well with my life yeah. Any child of God, to pastor, a prophet, wherever you are, yeah, mm. deliverance is needed to each and every one. Yeah. So deliverance is a gift from God, and it is there to shift us to another level. And the children of God, wherever you are, you need deliverance. Everybody have to be delivered. Jesus Christ came on earth so that he can deliver us. So visit a man of God, it be a prophet or a pastor who is gifted in conducting deliverance so that everything in your life can be open. So me myself today, I'm a victim of deliverance. I'm delivered, I'm free, and I know if your pastor is not delivered, you also as a child of God, as a member, you will never be delivered. Yeah. Mm. Amen. Mm. And viewers, keep watching Charlie's TV. Hallelujah. My name is Pastor T. Labengwa, coming from uh, Sebisong. I'm with my wife, Nelly. We've been coming here for the past four years, and it's always been a blessing every time we come here. We leave this place not the same. And we also believe that even today it won't be any different. It's a different atmosphere. God is just doing something new every day. He's doing something great. I would urge everyone to come and witness what God is doing in this place. Amen. Keep, Keep watching, watching Charis TV. TV. Amen. Um, Shalom. Uh, my name is Pastor John, John Rose Rice. I'm a visitor at Charis Missionary Church. Uh, I believe I'm here today because God has something great to do, to say or do in my life. I believe in the anointing of this house. And I believe that since I've started visiting Charlie's Missionary Church, my life has gone from one level to another. My life has changed. I believe your life can also change. Uh, therefore, I invite you pastors. You're welcome to come and visit uh, the, this house, the house of grace, the house where wonders are taking place. I believe your life will be changed once you, you, you've set your face in this place, in Jesus' name.
uh, therefore uh, to all viewers in the world and to you pastors watching you watching from your house please keep watching Charles TV keep seeking the face of God in Charles TV uh, greetings viewers my name is Nick Ferenenga I'm a Charis member I've been coming to Charis almost now it's nearly three years since we've been coming here uh, God is doing it we've been seeing really wonders and uh, also to my side of business I can say God is really great I can see that my business has been expand and uh, I had some issues even problems on the financial side but I just want to thank the God that even those things where I see my business is expanding and also to my spiritual side I can see that my spiritual life is increasing um, I just want to thank God for that and also viewers I'm just encouraging you uh, if you got the problems even in business even in financial side uh, with the spiritual side just come visit Charis and I believe God of Charis will do it for you uh, God loves you keep watching Charis TV stay blessed my name is Prophet Luanda Magwata from Cape Town. I have come to Charis and visited for the first time and I've encountered a lot of change. I've encountered the word, the teaching, the basic tools of salvation, submission, you know, learning from the great uh, apostle. It has been possible for me to come and to see him and to really talk with him one-on-one -on -one, and it's very, very inspiring. I would love to invite everybody in the world to come, wherever you are, come, have a time to come and really, really have a, a prophetic word, have, have whatever you are, even if you have any sickness, you know, any kind of problems here are solved, you know, every problem is being solved. So I extend this invitation to everyone watching all over the world. You can come to Charis Missionary Church where you can get your help. Whatever problems you have will be solved here. So I'm sending this invitation in advance so that you may know that this is a place of change. This is a place of power. This is a place of miracle. This is a place of great revival. And this is a place of learning how to be in Christ. All my greetings to you and everybody that is in the home. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Greetings in the name of Jesus. My name is Cindy. I'm here at Charis Missionary Church. I am proudly a member of Cherry's Missionary Church here in Tembisa Zone 5. I just want to invite you to our Sunday service here and all our, our weekly service. Um, come and fellowship with us. I've personally experienced the power of the Holy Spirit in this place. The Bible says that we should fellowship with one another. So if you have not found a place where to come and fellowship, you are welcome and you are invited to Cherry's Missionary Church. This year, our Father in the Lord uh, Apostle Jeremiah Makanasa has prophesied that this is the year of great assignments. So I just want to say that the Bible says, if the foundation is faulty, what can the righteous do? So you may not know your foundation or the great assignment for your life, but if you come in fellowship, the Holy Spirit will touch you and you will, it will reveal to you where you belong over your assignment for your life. So come and fellowship with us. You are blessed. God bless you. Glory be to God. This is the day that the Lord has made. Come and rejoice with us. Amen. Hi, greetings. My name is Hilda Mabote. I'm with my husband. We came here to Charis today to receive from the man of God because we know once we come here, we see breakthroughs every time. So we are coming here in expectation that we are going to receive today. Amen. Watch Charis TV. This is a Charis TV. Sibona abantu bapola, sibona imhlolo yenzeka abantu bamukela uJesu. Siyaninvita nonke ukuthi nani izinzojene Charis TV nibone isimangalo senkosi. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm greeting all the viewers all over the world. My name is Lucky and I'm a member in Charis Missionary Church in Tembisa and I would like to invite all who are everywhere at home wherever you are watching us. And uh, I know God will make a way for you to come and visit and worship and fellowship with us as we fellowship with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. This is what Apostle Paul has taught us, that the fellowship is important. So, uh, hallelujah, and may God grant you the grace to come and fellowship with us. Uh, I hope to see you soon in Charis. God bless you. The book on a life of a victorious Christian, volume one, by Apostle J.B. Makananisa is now available at bookstores and online at Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Booktopia, Outskirts Press. Get your copy now and your life will never remain the same. Shalom.